On May 1st, we received an event that will give us a team that we select. The teams are all pre-made and centered around either fire, water, or wood. It is extremely important to note that you should not sell the starter dragon once you choose it, as we will have another set of challenges that requires it. You also have to think carefully, since you can only choose one of the pre-made teams, and all of them have their pros and cons. In this video, I'll talk about each team and eventually tell you which one I plan to select. Now, a rather easy way to choose a team is to choose the one that contains cards you do not own. But it is important to note that most of these cards aren't very useful, with the exceptions of the starter dragons and the pantheons. Of course, you could be missing multiple cards, so I'll help you along that route. The fire team is a bit different than the other two since it contains two pantheon cards, Ame no Yuzume and Leilan. As of now, Ame no Yuzume hasn't had a super reincarnated form released, so her current viability isn't that valued. She can raise her recovery and clear regular binds, which may be useful. Leyland, on the other hand, has a super reincarnated form and will likely have more value. She essentially has three skill boosts, since her skill charges your team's skill charge by one. Additionally, she has three enhanced combo awakenings, making her extremely powerful unless the enemy has a void damage component. She also provides a 40% jammer resist, which can situationally be useful. All in all, she's an excellent fire unit that can take a place in multiple teams. Leyland also has a pixel form that will give her the chance to blast through void damage spawns, along with the choice of completely nulling jammer and bomb orbs if you prefer it. In the future, she can become a weapon assist that will provide a single orb enhance for her tricolor board, a skill boost, and full bind immunity. This is an excellent set that can be placed on any unit that desires it. The water team's only pantheon is Karen, who will receive her super reincarnated form in the future. Karen has 4 skill boosts, plus an additional charge from her skill. She also provides a 40% poison resist and has 2 void damage pierce awakenings. She is a better fit for Vasca teams than Leyland, though she won't provide much damage on a regular basis. She also pairs well with Lampade, a decent leader for water teams. Her pixel form has less value than Leyland's, but comes with a super awakening that avoids poison warps. Her assist evolution is practically the same as Leyland's, so at this point the choice depends on your discretion. The wood team proudly features Mei Mei, who currently has a super reincarnated form. Though she doesn't have provide any resist, she has a single dragon and devil color, providing a bit more damage to those types of spawns. She also has two enhanced combo awakenings, making her a bit more reliable than the other two in terms of damage. Her pixel evolution actually does more damage than her super reincarnated form, featuring two enhanced combo and void damage pierce awakenings. You can also get a super blind resist, though she loses her skill boost awakenings in this form. Her resist evolution is just like the other two. Not to say it's worse, but it's about the same. As I've said before, the team you choose should contain a Pantheon card you do not own. If you are missing multiple cards, you should choose the team that will provide the most value to you. If you think all of them would provide the same amount of value, then I would suggest choosing the Fire Team, as it contains two Pantheon cards and has a better future ahead of it. It's definitely better than getting a card that has a very small chance of improvement. If you're still at an impasse, then I'd suggest choosing the card that appears to you in terms of style. I myself would choose the Fire Team. Though I already have Ame no Yuzume, I don't have a single Leilan, except for a New Year's form, but that doesn't count. I already have 3 Mei Meis and 4 Karens, so I don't feel too pressured to pick those teams. Remember, while you can sell the other monsters if you'd like, keep the starter dragons. We'll have a challenge in the future that requires us to use them. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like it. And comment if you want to see something specific.